Mount Kenya region leaders have insisted that they will continue meeting to plan for the development of the area. The leaders said they will not be intimidated by the Deputy President William Ruto's false allegations that there is a plot to assassinate him and in that the allegations are made to incite other Kenyans against Kenyans from Mount Kenya region. This comes after the Deputy President reported to the Directorate of Criminal Investigation that some cabinet secretaries from the Mount Kenya region have been meeting to plan on how to kill him. So this press statement is issued on 24th of June 2019. It's headlined, assassination alleg allegations against Mount Kenya cabinet secretaries are meant to incite other Kenyans against Kenyans from Mount Kenya region. I will read. Today we woke up to the news that the four cabinet secretaries who come from Mount Kenya region, this is Sisi Nikariuki, Joe Mushero, James Masharia and Peter Munya, were at the DCI recording statements over allegations that they are holding or they've been holding meetings to plan how to assassinate the Deputy President William Ruto. Kenyans need to know that cabinet secretaries from all over the country meet with leaders from their regions to discuss how to best how best to fast track development projects from their regions. For example, there are meetings that are held at Western Hotel regularly by leaders and government officials from Rift Valley to discuss Rift Valley development projects. Leaders from Nyanza meet, leaders from Northeastern meet, leaders from Eastern Region meet, and leaders from Western Region meet. There's absolutely nothing wrong with these meetings at all, as far as we are concerned. This is the reason why Kenyans insist on regional balance at cabinet level, so that each region has, a, has people who understand the dynamics of where they come from at the policy-making level of government. Cabinet secretaries also meet internally and across regions to discuss the same issue. However, there is this narrative that when leaders from Mount Kenya region meet, they must be planning to do something wrong. Last year when Mount Kenya leaders met in Russia, it caused an uproar across the country. Again, when we met the president in Nyeri, it was national news, despite the fact that leaders from other regions do this all the time. In fact, immediately efforts were made to undermine, immediately thereafter, efforts were made to undermine this unity. And today, leaders from Mount Kenya region are openly divided as some campaign for Ruto's 2022 bid, and others insist this is not the right time and demand for development first. It must be understood that the meetings that C.S. Munya, Moshero, Karaoke, and Masharia have been accused of holding are as a result of the Naivasha and Nyeri meetings on how to ensure Mount Kenya gets its fair share of development projects. Some of us have been involved in these meetings. They have nothing to do with planning to assassinate anyone. The question then is why would anyone suggest such a ridiculous thing? We are convinced that those behind these allegations are trying to stop the Mount Kenya cabinet secretaries from assisting Mount Kenya members of parliament to push development for the region, even as they themselves do it for their own regions. We also see this as meant to intimidate these cabinet secretaries from executing decisions made by the president towards developing our region. Finally, we see this as a badly disguised attempt to incite the rest of the country against our region, against our leaders, and against the president. This we will not accept. It cannot be that everyone else can meet and it is okay, except Mount Kenya leaders. That is the end of our statement. Mine is just to put my voice on the issue of uh, the news that we woke up to this morning, that uh, cabinet secretary is meeting in, uh, in, in Thika Road, La, La Manda Ho Hotel. Ya kwamba walikuwa wanapanga vile wata I'm, I'm totally shocked because uh, I didn't expect that. First of all, I don't know why people have a problem when central MP, central executive, that is cabinet secretaries and PSs meet. Yet when others people, other people are meeting, for example, there are people who have been going to Western Hotel for meetings with the deputy president. There are people who have been going to deputy president residence in Karen just to strategize. Just the other day, leaders from Meru had a meeting with the deputy president. I think it was Thursday last week. If, if, if we, we get paranoid and all the time when we have meetings, people are worried about what are they saying, what are they planning, then it means we are not going to have any positive development in this country. Personally, I was in Naivasha. I was also in Nyeri when His Excellency the President met the leaders from Central Region. 
and he actually appointed CS Munya to be on the forefront to coordinate the executive and the members of parliament from central region because we accused the CSs that they are neglecting us. They are not giving us their ears to listen to us. We actually told His Excellency the President and he publicly uh, um, appointed the CS Munya to be the coordinator to make sure that members of parliament are able to meet the PSs and meet the CSs. And we have been having those kind of talks following on individual projects from areas where we come from. So if these CSs are sitting down to strategize on how they are going to help us to be able to get the development that Wanjiko has been complaining that central region is neglected, then what is the problem? For me, I can't wait for them to even meet tomorrow and tell me when are they going to make sure that they revive the bacon factory in Kiambu County that is long, long gone. Just like the way they revived the river tax, we want our bacon factories to be revived in central region. We also want to see all those factories that have, have closed down in Thika because of extremely high power bills be revived. Who is going to revive them if Monya and Kionjore and Karaoke and Masharia cannot sit down and agree as part of leaders that come from the central region and understand the issues of central region? So these meetings are viable. They must meet and they will continue meeting as long as they are hearing the cry of the Wajiko from Central Region. And we must stop this, 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 uh, this uh, paranoid uh, way of living where you, when you see people together, you are imagining they are doing something negatively from what you believe or what you expect. And I think the DP, DP needs to be very honest here. Very, very honest. Very, very honest. Why didn't he write the statement himself? Why? Did he have to make a call? If all of us do make calls to DCI, will he work? If surely he believes that something was planning, was being planned, why can't he just do the statement? And then we follow up from there. We are not here to defend evil. If there is evil, let it be evil. And let it be known to be evil. But let's not peddle lies in the name of politics. And I want to be very categorical. There have been very, very, very re uh, revamped effort, efforts by some leaders to scatter and finish Central Kenya unity of leaders. The strategy is scatter them, finish them. Some have succeeded in scattering MPs. You can see. The members of parliament from central Kenya are no longer speaking from the same language because somebody has invested very heavily to scatter them and finish them. We are not going to allow anybody to scatter us again and finish our political, uh, our economic background. Our backbone must be sustained, it must be supported, and by so doing, we must sit together and agree as Mount Kenya block. Office here, neighbor is Kwanda Kulalamika Kwa Idara ya uchunguzi kwamba wale mawaziri waliokutana ama wa, huwa wanakutana kwenye hoteli ya Lamanda ambao ni Cecile Karioki Njoo Mosheru Pita Munya na James Masharia ikiwa ni mara nyingi kufuatilia mipangilio ya ile mipango ya maendeleo kwa serikali ambayo inahusu zile sehemu wanazotoka za Mlima Kenya na kwamba habari zikatokea kwamba wana njama ama tini mipango wanaenda kupanga huko ya kumuua na Ibrahim William Ruto na ni kusema kwamba hiyo ni siasa ya upuzi ambayo sio ya kweli kwa sababu mawaziri kutoka ama watu wenye viongozi wenye adhi kubwa kwa serikali ukutana kwa sehemu sehemu na kupanga vitu vingi tunajua wengi wa bonde la ufa ukutana huko Western na wengine ukutana pia kwa ofisi ya waziri Matiang wale wa kutoka Nyanza na hakuna wakati yoyote kwamba watu wamelaumiwa ama kusemekana kwamba kwa wako na nia mbaya na ni vizuri kusema kwamba wale wametoa hii wana nia mbovu ya kupotoza nchi ya kuchochea nchi na kuweza ku, kusema kwamba kila wakati watu wa mlima Kenya wakikutana ni kwa nia mbaya na hii ndio tunajaribu kupinga zaidi na tusiwe tunafuatilia hiyo barabara ni mbaya kwa nchi tusifanye siasa kwenye kila kitu 
tumuunga rais mkono aunganishe nchi na tuweze kupata maendeleo hata sisi watu wa Mount Kenya pia tupate ile miradi ya maendeleo tunahitaji of politicians being impatient and not doing the right thing at the right time because this is the time not for factions in jubilee government or in jubilee party it's time actually to help the president deliver on his mandate and finish his term and whoever wants to contest the elections for whatever time the elections will be that's a different arrangement but about the jubilee uh, it's a different story and to just add, you know the fact every party has rebels. Ford, be it at the MP level, or even at the presidency or deputy presidency level. And I think it's a, it's, it beholds us that we don't read politics in everything that we do. It's just the other day we had an election. We were given a mandate. We had a manifesto for which we were to uh, deliver to Kenyans. But unfortunately for us, we have become too political and reading politics in everything that happens. And I always say, every Kenyans, every Kenyan, so many of you, including some of you that are there, are entitled to hold a position of leadership. You have the qualification to be an MP, to be a president, to be anything. But you've given us the privilege to serve you. May we be found faithful to the people that gave us jobs and not really sensitize everything that happens around us. We want to create politics and read politics into it. I was completely taken aback by this news because I was part of the people that went to Naivasha as a member of parliament from central Kenya. And we had a very uh, good discussion around the table on the things that we would want government to do within the available resources of the, of the, of the government. And for me to then read that it has turned out to be a plan for something like this, I find it completely, you know, uh, shocking. And I think we need to reduce the politics. We need to reduce the political temperatures. We need to realize we've just been two years since the election. In fact, two years will come to an end in August the 8th. We are not yet even two years. Yet, we have just politicized everything, everything that we want to do. And I think that's why the president has been calling on all of us to tone down on the politics because Wanjiko still wants to have, you know, hospitals done, want to be attended. So I think this is the time for us, you know, to reduce that. And also, I find like this kind of statement is what goes into creating division within our country. This is the time that the president has called us to be unified, to have unity. So when we make such a statement, it can only create divisions and I, I think this is the wrong time for such a statement to come out unfortunate and we want to tell our cabinet secretary we support them and we know what they are doing we know they mean well for this country and to continue serving as they've always done thank you viongozi wa mount kenya tunataka kusema yale maneno yalitokea siku ya leo si maneno ya kweli na kuja kuwa na mkutano wote wa kupanga jama za ku kwa kwa nini naitwa nini na Kiswahili kwa rubu maisha ya deputy president na vile tumekuwa na mikutano kadhaa kama viongozi wa central kenya na hii mikutano imekuwa ni ya kuongea juu ya maendeleo vile wananchi wananchi wanaweza kupata maendeleo lakini kuja kuwa na mkutano wa wote wa kupanga assassination mali yoyote ile maneno tumepanga tulikuwa na mkutano pale naivasha na tukakubaliana ile miradi tungependa serikali tufanyie na ni kusema kweli tumekuwa tukifata kama viongozi na ni kazi yetu kufata maendeleo na tuko na cabinet secretaries kadhaa kutoka Mount Kenya na tumekuwa tukijadiliana nao na ni si, si cabinet secretaries kutoka Mount Kenya pakia ni cabinet secretary wote kwa hivyo hii maneno ilikuwa imetokea ikaenda kwa DCI ni maneno ya uongo na ni upuzi mtupu okay Oh, I was answering that guy. Okay. <laughs> um, the, the question of about whether Jubilee is um, on its deathbed is a question that has been asked by many people. I don't believe it is anywhere near its deathbed. I think what we are having is a difference of opinion among some people within Jubilee about what are we supposed to be doing right now. Those of us who insist that we have a mandate from Kenyans to deliver to them projects between 2017 and 2022, 
and a few who insist that right now we are supposed to be preparing for the government to take over government after 2022 again. And that's our problem. We are saying, look, we already are in government. We have five years. We've been given five years by Kenyans to deliver to them the development agenda. So why do we start, need to start preparing? It's like, you know, there are people who are behaving like we are in opposition. That we can start promising what we will do when we take over government in 2022 and we're already in government. So why don't we do those things now? without having a conversation about 2022. Then 2022 will have a conversation about continuing what we have been doing. So the problem that is there in Jubilee right now is that some people think they're supposed to be preparing for 2022. Others think that we need to be delivering now. But this has nothing to do with the split in the party. The party is fine. The party, party is led by one person. The party is led by Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, who is not just a party leader of the party, but is also the president of the Republic of Kenya. And he's been very clear on what he wants done. He wants people to stop premature campaigns he wants people to support his fight against corruption. He wants people to support the handshake. If anyone is not doing those three things, they are the ones who are outside the party. The party is not split. Um, the CEO of the saying that the information they have is that the DP is the one who called the DCI. I think the, this, this is going to have different reactions. I, I think in Mount Kenya, being portrayed as if we are meeting because we own these CSS. These are our CSS. When you go after the four CSS who come from Mount Kenya, you're going after leaders who come from our region. Mm -hmm. So we own these CSS. We are not going to stand and say that those CSS are doing the wrong thing, especially since we know the meetings they have been having are about development agendas for our region. So this is going to have a negative effect in the region because it looks like you are trying to stop our leaders from having meetings about the region unless you are there. Because that's the only way it looks like. Because when they meet, he hosts, I, I know the DP hosts governors, I know he hosts CSs, I know he hosts leaders from the region. Last week, he had leaders from Meru. Yeah. There's never a problem. But when our leaders meet outside the deputy president, then it looks like that is now when somebody has a problem. So what is the problem? You don't want us to meet by ourselves. So we will, this conversation going to the ground is going to be different because now it looks like you're trying to micromanage us and micromanage our development. Last week we saw uh, Rift Valley getting the river, river tax back. Yeah. That was lobbying. Member, leaders from Rift Valley sat, sat with, the, with government officials from, uh, in, in, from, the region, from the region, of course, first to have that conversation. Then as a country, they were able to deliver a project like river tax. Us, anytime we want to sit and do something like that, so now, what kind of politics is that? I'd like to have... We had... Let's, let's take the... Let's follow this thing. We had a meeting in Naivasha. All members of parliament from Mount Kenya region. We then went to Nyeri and met the president. The president actually tasked Munya to be the contact person in government to help us because people are complaining we are not able to access government. So meetings happened consequently after that. People had their projects, they streamlined, they made lists and said these are the kind of things we want done in our region. And we had these meetings all the way up to December and then they continued this year. So any member of parliament from Mount Kenya who says he's not aware of these meetings is lying. That one, that one has lied. That one is, and, but anyway, this is, this is that time. I think